I know I like indie games. Do you? Some indie games are really awesome and some of them really suck, but you know, the ones that are really awesome tend to be like really, 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 really awesome. And I found one of those games that's really, really awesome. It's called Enter the Gungeon. But uh, yeah, I actually really like this game. Um, it's You're seeing the background right now, and I hope you guys are okay with me putting non-Call of Duty stuff, because expect to see this in the background of a few Let's Talk or so, like that kind of stuff videos for a while, because I really like this game, and I suck at it so far, so the gameplay you see right now is me sucking at this game, but promise it'll be better when I get better at the game, because it'll be cooler stuff, and it'll be farther in the game, it'll be awesome, and it'll be super cool, and it'll be super fun, and I hope you guys get it too, and then when they add multiplayer or something, we can play together, I don't know if we're ever gonna add multiplayer, but if they do, that'd be super cool, so yeah. I just talked really fast. So if you actually understood anything I said there, then uh, congratulations, you earn um, a golden sticker. Because who doesn't want a golden sticker? Yay! You see, this is what happens when you leave me alone in a room with a microphone. I just start saying random stuff that makes no sense. But, I mean, hey, I hope you guys uh, like think it's at least a little bit funny, even though it's kind of stupid. I, I mean, I, 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 it's, it's something, at least. But, yeah, for real, the real, the actual point of this, like, video was just to tell you guys I'm going to start putting indie games in the background. Mainly this one is called Enter the Gungeon. It's on Steam if you want it. Um, if you think this looks cool, then go ahead and get it, because I really like this game. And I've only played it for, like, an hour or so, so far. So, yeah, you know, I like it a lot, and um, I definitely recommend it to everyone and I thought it would be perfect for background gameplay because it's kind of like hectic it's a uh, like a bullet hell sort of binding of Isaac sort of roguelike game so it's really fun and it's super easy to pick up once you understand the core mechanics it's kind of sort of an extremely hard game to be completely honest but once you get it down it can get really fun it can get super intense and awesome and there's so many cool weapons and even though I'm not like sponsored by them or anything if they wanted to sponsor me I'd feel like, feel free to hit me up people who made it into the gungeon I'll 100% sponsor you because I like your game yeah yeah, I'm really weird. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, and I also figured out how to render and upload in 60 FPS So I think that this video should be in 60 FPS So if you're not watching in 60 FPS right now check it out and see if it is and if it's not then I'm an idiot But I'm pretty sure it'll be in 60 FPS But if it's not don't blame me blame those stupid YouTube video I watched because it's not all their fault I just followed the settings that they set up and it worked for me sort of when I rendered it, it looks like you so leave me alone This guy just ran past my house and he's like going full speed And I think he's like being chased by like a murderous dog because he was running at like 50 miles per hour holy crap if i ran that fast i think my legs would literally fall off but yeah this video doesn't really have any real point i just kind of wanted to like talk to you guys about some stuff so uh yeah i got distracted by that runner dude but um you know it was a pretty big moment he was going really fast and i'm very confused as to why anyone would put themselves through going as fast as he was going but um i just want to show you a funny moment from uh, enter the gungeon as well so I'm gonna jump to the end of this game that you're watching right now and show you how it ended. It was going super well. I got like a blunder bust and I had a shotgun and I had a t-shirt cannon and there's all my weapons and it's pretty sweet. And uh, this is how it had to end. You know, it's all going good. I'm just running past this fire pit. I'm all good. I'm only at half health left though. I have a heart. So if I get hit at all, I die. But I have this sweet crossbow thing. I'm not scared. I'm destroying everyone. I'm running around. I'm dodging these bullets. I got... Uh, Oh, and there's a pit there. Yeah, um, yeah. Rest of Ripper Run. Oh my gosh, the runner guy's back. Whoa. Guys, he has a dog. I repeat, he has a dog. I was totally right. He was running away from a murderous dog. Oh my god. Guys, this is amazing. I just predicted the future. I saw that guy running really fast, and I was like, the only reason anyone would run that fast is from a murderous dog, and then he runs back, and he's all gross and sweaty, and he looks like he's about to pass out from running so fast, but he had a dog with him, so I was right. Boom. Get wrecked, noob. He didn't even predict that he'd be running from a dog. Bam. You know, sometimes I think that I should probably, like, script these videos that I'm going to be talking about some actually, like, somewhat important topic, but then stuff like this happens, and I'm like, bruh, thank God I didn't script that, am I right? But, uh, yeah, um, I think I should probably end off this video now, because this is actually one of my longest videos in a long time, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and, uh, I just realized this isn't my longest video in a long time, because it's about the same size as, uh, my last video, because that was my 100th video special, but, you know, it's my longest last talk in a while, leave me alone, okay, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you guys also like indie games, and I hope you like watching this game, and expect more of it, because it's freaking awesome, so, yeah, have a friggity fantastic day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.